I don't, and this far I've been attending the University of Kent State and uh, majoring in sports and management. Oh, dead over. Uh, my name is Warren Milstead. This fall I plan on attending the University of Virginia. I plan to major in economics. Pick a lot of money. But that don't count. My name is Chris Reynolds. This fall I will be attending Johnson C. Smith University. I'll be majoring in sports medicine. So. Right, my name is Joseph Holbrook. I will be attending Norfolk State in the fall, and then my major will be sports management. Right, my name is Delonta Henry, and I plan to attend Johnson C. Smith. I will be attending Middlesville University. I will be majoring in business and insurance. Uh, my name is Marvin Austin. I will be attending the University of North Carolina next next year, and I will be planning to major in broadcast communications. Coach Darius, linebacker coach. Uh, Looking forward to next year, repeating. Uh, proud of our kids. We got eight kids going to uh, the next level, and that's that's got us super excited. It's been job easy because uh, we got a nice recruiting class coming in. We got some nice fresh yeah, uh, freshmen. Really nice. Damn. Uh, coach Money, assistant assistant football coach, academic coach. It's a very big day here today. Uh, eight kids signed to go to the next level. Uh, looking forward to repeating. Uh, we got something started here under the tremendous leadership of Coach Moses Ware. We're on the right path. Coach Robert Lee from uh, Defensive Line Coach. Uh, we also look forward to uh, repeating. Um, this is a big day, like most of the coaches said, um, just to change the minds of young black men in Southeast DC to show Blue that we the proudest of the proudest Southeast. And um, see you next time. Todd Amos, assistant head coach. Uh, it's a great day for the Blue Knights football program. Uh, like all the other coaches have said, we have eight kids that have signed letters of intent to go in and play collegiate football, and probably three more within the next week. Uh, we're looking forward to repeating as DCIAA champions and uh, coming back next year to the ESPN zone. Uh, for some of our top juniors. Coach Moses win. Yeah. Close out the show. Hey, Coach Blue High School. Uh, it's been a pleasure to coach these guys. We've got eight kids going on in the college. We're going to have about three, four signed within the next couple of days. We won one championship. We're going to win one next year. You build a championship one game at a time. You build a dynasty one championship at a time. Everybody better get ready because we're putting everybody in the 50-point club next year. And then take them to college. Well, thank y'all for coming out. God bless you. Good night. <laughs> and the Joshua Doris, uh, Do Do Dozaret's uh, parents were, were sitting on, on both sides of me, and I was just telling them about this great team. So Austin made his announcement at the ESPN zone today, and the six foot two, 290 pound defensive tackle surprised the so called experts when Marvin Austin decided to play for new head coach Butch Davis in Chapel Hill. A great get for UNC. Way to go, Marvin. Hey, with. Next year. Well, he's the top defensive prep player in the nation from Blue High School in the district, and Marvin Austin may have surprised some with his choice. He and thousands of other high school football players signed their national letters of intent today. We'll give you the rundown and tell you why Austin chose the heels. Now back to National Signing Day. The top defensive player in the country had schools from across the country waiting for his college announcement this afternoon. Marvin Austin is from right here in the nation's capital playing his high school football at Blue. And after deciding between schools like USC, Florida State, and Maryland, Austin has decided to play for Butch Davis and North Carolina. Austin is a six foot three, 300 pound defensive tackle known for having unusual quickness for such a big guy. And he's got work ethic that had college football scouts drooling as well. He made his big announcement on national TV today in downtown Washington. And after announcing he was going to Chapel Hill, Austin caught up with our Michael Jenkins. Thank you so much here with Marvin Austin headed to North Carolina. You look sharp. We're both talking about, we're both dressed up today. Yeah, it's man. a big day for you. How excited are you? I'm, I'm very excited, man. I'm elated. Man. When I got up this morning, I just thought, thanks. This is recruiting is, is over with. I could get on to my regular high school life, man. What was it about North Carolina that made you think, this is a school for me? Um, the people, the coaching staff, the players. I mean, how when I went down there, 
the way that they talked, and it wasn't all about football. It was about me as a person and helping me um, achieve all my goals off the field. So uh, when, I, when I felt that presence and stuff like that, I, I didn't feel that at any other school. As a recruit, you get letters, you get calls, you get text messages all the time. What is that process like, constantly being bombarded with attention? Um, for some people, it, it probably it's probably nerve-wracking, but for me, it was it was okay. You know, you just gotta know how to um, decipher everything. You gotta know how to deal with it. You know, um, you get text messages all times of the day, at night, and people calling and stuff like that. But I mean, it's a good aggravation. You know, it's good being aggravated by college coaches all across America because there's guys out here that are that are love to be in my shoes. You know, so I don't, I don't abuse my privileges. How much of an impact do you think you can go down there and have, and how soon do you think you can have it? Um, I think I can have a big impact. You know, I think I can make uh, guys around me better. I think I, uh, I work hard, and I think I can show a team how to work hard, you know, and I just think I can, I can prosper down there, man. I think I can be the best Marvin Austin down there. Well, congratulations to you. Thanks. Marvin Austin headed to Chapel Hill in North Carolina. I'll send it back to you in Bethesda. DC's Marvin Austin, the closest thing to a short thing a lot of people were talking about, coveted by just about every big time college football program, and he chose North Carolina. Mm. Find out why when he goes one on one with our Michael Jenkins. Back to National Signing Day, the top defensive player in the country at schools from across the land waiting for his college announcement this afternoon. Marvin Austin, he's from right here in the nation's capital, played at high school football at Ballou in the district. And after deciding between schools like USC, Florida State, and Maryland, Austin decided to play for Butch Davis and North Carolina. Austin, six foot three, 300 pound defensive tackle known for having unusual quickness for such a big guy. He's also got a work ethic that in college football scouts drooling during the recruiting process. He made his big announcement on national television today in downtown Washington, and after announcing he was going to Chapel Hill, Austin spent some time with our Michael Jenkins. Thank you so much here with Marvin Austin headed to North Carolina. You look sharp. We're both talking about both dressed up today. Yeah, it's man. a big day for you. How excited are you? I'm, I'm very excited, man. I'm elated. Man. When I got up this morning, I just thought, dang, this is recruiting is, is, is over with. I could get on to my regular high school life, man. What was it about North Carolina that made you think, this is a school for me? Um, the people, the coaching staff, the players. I mean, how when I went down there, the way that, that they talked, it wasn't all about football. It was about me as a person and helping me. Um, achieve all my goals off the field. So uh, when, I, when I felt that presence and stuff like that, I, I, I didn't feel that at any other school. As a recruit, you get letters, you get calls, you get text messages all the time. What is that process like, constantly being bombarded with attention? Um, for some people, it, it probably is probably nerve-wracking, but for me, it was it was okay. You know, you just got to know how to um, decipher everything. You got to know how to deal with it, you know. Um, you get text messages all times of the day, at night, and people calling and stuff like that. But, I mean, it's a good aggravation, you know. It's good being aggravated by college coaches all across America because there's guys out here that are, that are love to be in my shoes, you know. So I don't, I don't abuse my privileges. How much of an impact do you think you can go down there and have, and how soon do you think you can have it? Um, I think I can have a big impact. You know, I think I can make uh, guys around me better. I think I, I, I work hard, and I think I can show a team how to work hard, you know. And I just think I can, I can prosper down there, man. I think I can be the best Marvin Austin down there. Well, congratulations to you. Thanks. Marvin Austin headed to Chapel Hill in North Carolina. I'll send it back to you in Bethesda. Heading to school, Baloo's Marvin Austin, the nation's defensive player of the year, chose North Carolina and new coach Butch Davis. And Marvin, did you feel the pressure of the big decision? There's no pressure, you know, because I know what I'm capable of and I know what I'm capable of doing. And like I said, I'm trying to be an academic All-American, you know, and I will, I'll, I'll get that degree for me, myself, my family, and, you know, hopefully someday, you know, we broadcast and get your job or something like that. <laughs> You don't want any part of this. It's too hard. I do have some good news for Marvin. His future school, North Carolina, beat Duke tonight, 79-73. Brian, back to you. Three, Duke's third straight ACC loss. The first Wednesday in February is traditionally National Signing Day, the day when high school players sign their scholarship papers with the school of their choice. Well, Baloo senior defensive tackle Marvin Austin made his announcement on national television from the ESPN zone that he will play for Butch Davis in Chapel Hill. Austin is 6'2", 290, and he's a good get for Carolina.